Commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the first game of the finals of the loser's bracket, Striker versus Whip. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Striker starting as the Blue Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Whip starting as the Yellow Terran. This is, uh, I believe it is on Allegro. Whoever wins this goes on to, yep, on Allegro. Whoever go, wins this moves on to get another matchup versus Jayun. Jayun sitting in the grand final position one. Between these two, we saw some really fun games, honestly. I feel like the highlight games of the series up to this stage, so I'm expecting more fun stuff. And while I am, I think I gave a shout out to Moltrap and everybody <laughs> that I know has a birthday in October, uh, including my sister, who again, I doubt will listen to this, but um, yeah, I wanted to give a, I guess a side shout out. I've got a friend who makes music and he's tomorrow, which will be October 14th. He's gonna release, I got a preview of it. I think the most beautiful song I've ever heard in my entire life. So I'll, that's an overhype, but I just think it's great. An absolute fantastic song. He's uh, previously actually been in the Christian music world. <clears throat> was very famous for that. Uh, ended up exiting that, becoming Hindu, uh, oddly, and then following Ram Dass. I know that in, I, I don't know the official name of it, but like within the, the Hindu, the Indian sphere of stuff, like they have the different pathways, and I know one of them is like following a guru. So he did that for a while, now he cycled back uh, and created his own brand of non-dual Christianity. He's a fun guy to talk to. I feel like he has uh, fun thoughts and interesting ideas. But he's also got an interesting relationship um, with his wife where they're, this is all public, uh, he's got a podcast, so I don't feel like I'm throwing him under the bus here, but with his wife where they're still committed to each other, but they're not romantically involved. Um, so it's like, Anyway, so from what I know of the song, it's got like that deep reference of both uh, referencing love as far as between, because they're like a couple band. So love between them that's still there, uh, between the two of them, but also for like the universe and whatever, I guess the spiritual ethereal in the mix of it. And I just, I'm a sucker for that sort of, aside from being a hopeless romantic, I'm a sucker for uh, like, I don't know, deep, meaningful stuff like that. So I, I recommend checking it out. It'll be posted in my Discord under the music section. Uh, yeah, just because I think it's a fantastic song and feel like, I don't know, doing due diligence for friends. Speaking of which, also Mr. Bitter has, if you go to kittyarcadegame.com, he's got, um, he's trying to make a, a game with Kitty Arcade. Um, should be fun, I got to demo it. Still has a few kinks to work out, but anyway, let's get to the game. Enough filler. Whip gonna go ahead and drop a command center behind this. There was actually a decent amount of early game that I missed there, so I'll have to make up for it here in a hurry. So single marine able to put, there was an initial scout from striker. looks like that got pushed back. looks like Whip able to, with that initial scout, push through SEV fight versus that drone initially. And I think that drone had already taken some hits from the other drone. And so this being, so the drone being drawn back and Overlord, is it gonna post that position? No, the Overlord's actually still gonna hang out upper right. And I think Striker's actually, wisely taking position up there. I, I've seen other players do this as well, and I like it. So move the Overlord into a position where it's going to be beneficial, which leads him to leave. He might go for an, a third base in that upper right. Currently, he's making his movements towards two hatch Mutalisk. Two Zordlings going to press. Striker feeling very comfortable with what he's seen. He has, he's not bothering with a bunker thus far. And going for, looks like, this is unusual, One Rack's Academy. I have not seen this build. Uh, oddly enough. You, I've seen two Racks Academy, but I have not seen one Racks Academy before, and I'm kind of curious what this is going to transition into. Is this going to be an earlier uh, push for mech? Is there going to be more fire bats on the front? So, Supply Depot being pressed to go ahead and create a bit of a blockade. Uh, on the side, thank you for the Rage Eye. It's good to see a 2v2 hero out there. But yeah, so we got one Racks, we got an Academy up, maybe get an earlier stim and go for some sort of off-timing pressure. Striker going ahead and grabbing, the, uh, grabbing an extractor behind that. The Spire is on the way. And now my concern for Whip is, is with, so going for the Racks into Academy to get the earlier stim, but keeping the Marine medic count a little bit smaller in the early game, Striker has fantastic Mutalist Micro. And keep in mind, this is in zero latency conditions. And knowing Striker's strength with Mutalisk, he's really going to need to preserve these troops. And SCV's making its way upper right, might be able to confirm that this drone is plopping this third expansion, might even be able to get some disruption there, but there's also Zerglings with speed on the ground. So Zergling speed, plus, yeah, and a bunch of Zerglings. Oh, this looks like it could be disastrous from Whip right off the bat. These Zerglings have confirmed that there's only seven Marines out here. 
third, or so, sorry, second and third bunker, or is our bar bunker, barracks being tacked on and the engineering bay after it. But I'm concerned that this is going to be too little too late. One creep colony being dropped on the front. Maybe Striker having some trouble, maybe thinking that there were some more units hidden back behind here. But the Mutalisks now being produced. And this is quite the skeleton crew to defend things otherwise. Some Zerglings, fortunately for Whip, he was able to kill a lot of Zerglings on the front. The drone also has managed to get a lot of disruption to halt that third in the upper right-hand corner, a Zergling making its way that direction. The Zergling's continuing to test the front. I think Striker might be a little bit, his ears might be kind of perking a little bit, wondering like what's going on as well with the smaller medic marine count. Turrets now being planted, range being upgraded, and SCV, oh, okay, it does have an escape route, but remaining no plus one weapons as of yet. But the Mutalisks are there, making the way out, three medics, and a handful of Marines, but honestly, this plus some decent micro from Striker and the Zerglings could wipe the Medic Marines out. There is a bunker, but it's empty on the front, so it's honestly just there for show. Striker now engaging there, the Zerglings, yeah, grouping up with the Mutalisks. Okay, now it's starting to fill out to more sufficient numbers. Striker continued to grow that county. He canceled, it looks like, that sunk colony on the front. Instead, has opted to grab that third a little bit closer at the three o'clock location, Striker pushing in, getting pushed back by a stim there from Whip. And Whip does need to be a little bit careful with his energy here. Striker looking for gaps, but it looks like Whip is gonna be okay. I'm not sure I've seen that uh, that build executed before in that particular way, at least not in recent memory. Could be uh, lack of turn play in commentator, whatever not. But anyway, more Mutalists moving out only, uh, looks like only two drones on that gas. That's getting comps added. Noticing the lack of something colonies on the front. Are we going to see Fallout Factory? Yeah, we're seeing the three, three racks into Factory. I will see if this turns into the very hyper-modern meta Valkyrie play. Additional turrets to the north in the meantime. No second gas being grabbed as of yet, so I think it still might just be more Medic Marine Siege Tank. As far as initial pressure, Striker, and it could be could be a good situation here for Whip because he did delay that third for quite a period of time. Some drones now making their way that direction. The Mutalists diving in, able to get a lot of Marine kills behind this, but they're going to have to pull right back around because there's no sunken colonies as of yet. In fact, the Queen's Nest is on the front. No sunken colonies to help defend. And this is a good chunk of Medic Marines. Zerglings out on the front. Striker needs to be very careful not to push those Mutalists. Yeah, needs to keep them on the wings because this is a very exposed front door. But Whip getting a little bit staggered with that army and Striker able to do a fantastic job pushing through. Has not really expended a lot and now diving on the Medic Marine Force with the Zerglings getting right in between, completely clearing that army. And Striker with a beautiful engagement able to wipe that Medic Marine army out. There's three straggling Marines. Maybe if they can get to the three o'clock, but now Whip is going to be hard pressed to defend his main. That natural expansion should be A-OK -okay because it's got four turrets there. The, oh no, he's pushing. Ah, oh, he's moving those Marines top right, assuming that's where that additional expansion is. Let's see if Striker engages. Striker splitting off some of the Mutalists to trail one direction. Now comps adding, re-engaging, realizing that he needs to move to the three. Some Mutalists and Zerglings looking to engage, not able to find. Now they've revealed themselves, might be able to get some drone kills. At least two drones going to be picked off, so at least getting some damage there. However, the huge group of Mutalists are not going to be dissuaded or drawn back. Let's go ahead and get a look at them. They're behind the lines, and look at this. The Marines are going to have so much trouble getting behind this line to deal with these Mutalists. So Striker are going to be able to do all sorts of damage. That 3 o'clock location has been cleared up, so that third gas... And here's the thing. Striker probably could end the game right here by engaging the main. It looks like he's just going to turn around and start dealing with supply depots. Fourth and fifth barracks coming up out of necessity. Science facility just coming online, so Striker's going to have a lot of time to continue to inflict damage. But that Queen's Nest is up. He's had that third gas for quite some time. Hive is just finishing. He's way ahead. The additional mules grouping up, and they actually still have a huge chunk of health to work with. And Striker wisely actually just backing out because he doesn't have to, um, he doesn't have to commit right here. This is Striker's problem to deal with, not his. He can go ahead and just start droning up, and it looks like that is what he's opting to do. 
So deciding to throw down some drones, getting a Nidus Canal up, cycling some of those drones to the three clock location. Honestly, he's in a strong enough position where I think he could go ahead and grab a fourth if he wanted to, but instead just gonna make his way towards that Defiler Mount, adding on Carapace, has the Hydra Sten, but really hasn't need to tech on Hydras or even move his way towards Lurker Tech at all. Mule's taking a bit of damage, Whip having some trouble with some micro over that wall. He does have those Marines at least well positioned to keep his base alive, and the five racks count is up, picking off one right there. No side, or well, I think, so two science vessels gonna come out, Irradiate possibly out as well, but the problem for Whip is that the Defiler Mound's down, Strikers felt no pressure whatsoever, has decent saturation, the worker count is actually not that large a gap, for Striker. The Lurker's starting to join the front, mostly, I think, for a contained situation. And this is kind of the inversion of what you see usually at this stage of the map. Usually, usually you see, oh, well, a couple Lurk, uh, a couple Mulas being pulled out. Striker actually backing off. This does tend to be a weak spot of uh, Striker's play, is getting the Lurkers in sufficient position and being able to kind of group up and get that uh, that defense sort of uh, situation. It looks like Irradiate wasn't yet researched. Working on that research now. A six barracks being added on. Whip actually making a pretty good game of it. Supply counts are even. Striker in a pretty strong position. He is setting up a drone to that upper right-hand corner to go ahead and cap that. A creep colony defensively being placed. And he's not that, again, not that far off. Yeah, plopping down that Ultra's Cavern because he's got enough space to do it. So Whip barreling forward a large group of Medic Marines. Only plus one weapons behind them. That plus one Carapace is not that far from finishing, which is really going to make his uh, work challenging. Third base in that upright in corner, but not a lot of lurkers here on the front. There are two radiates to go ahead. So he's going to go ahead and stack the lurkers on the front, but a big ball of medic marines. Whip, I think, has got to go for it here. I'm not sure that he has another option. Against that lurker line and against the single something colony, there's not a lot of fences here, so he might be able to make it work. Takes down the Nidus Canal, repositioning, still going to press into this. More lurkers burrowing, and Whip, where's... Where's the Defiler? There's the Defiler. Did he, does he not have Swarm? Whip's still trying to press into it. This might have been a critical mistake where Defiler's there. But yeah, Consume wasn't upgraded, so he skipped that and went for the Ultralis Cavern instead and spent the resources, feeling a little bit too cozy, perhaps. So Whip has another army to press out and might actually be able to... might be able to press into this. Let's see if he gets two more Science Vessels out and irradiates slightly behind, but might be able to threaten something to stay in this match, has a slight supply lead, needs to get a move on though, because Striker in this defensive position is sitting pretty. Whip, yeah, and it's up to Whip to make something happen. The Nidus Canal was gone, another one rebuilt. Let's see if he places it on the front, if he's gonna place it more towards his main. Upper right hand base is up, but not yet mining. Science Vessels encroaching and moving up. That's actually a pretty solid count. He's gonna be able to drop and irradiate on that exposed defiler, preemptively dropping two swarms. There's plenty of lurkers here, however, and that Ultralis Cavern is, again, a macro hatch being put up. That Ultralis Cavern is looking scary, though, on the front. And right now, it's up to Whip to make something happen. Nidus Canal looks like being built that upper right hand corner. There's already a drone in position, maybe to grab that. Whip has not yet taken his third. Has a dropship out. That could be something. If he can load up that dropship, maybe take something out in the main, specifically even get that Defiler Mound down. That Defiler Mound would be a big win. Still, okay, plus two weapons is there. No plus additional army. The dropships already threatening. It looks like some Scourge already there to potentially engage. Might be able to take that upper right. But honestly, even taking out that upper right, which is somewhat vulnerable, I don't know if that would be a win. He really needs a big kill here. So dropping in a radiate to go ahead and take out that Lurker. Dropships peeling out to the north. So might be able to, to strike a one-two punch. Dropping into the upper right and also pressuring the main. And that would be, and if he can do that and grab a third, somehow, might not be bad. It looks like a dropship waiting along that six o'clock. So dropping upper right, Nidus Canal gone. There are lurkers there to help clean things up. So that's going to be taken out. But the second dropship is going to move out towards the natural. It's going to skip over the natural while Striker is somewhat distracted. So that base might get wiped out. Looks like the lurker is going to peel up. So dropping at the natural, able to get some economic damage done here. And continuing up to the main, some Mutalisks going to... Go ahead and engage, and actually the mules might be enough. Also, the Dark Swarm going to have... Well, actually, he's going to protect the Marines as well. So the natural expansion has been emptied. The drones have pulled out and dropping... Whip dropping some additional radiance. So Whip doing a great job of creating some chaos to stifle Striker's economy here in between and buy himself some breathing room. Is actually way ahead in supply with that. So actually putting up a really, really good fight, floating out, grabbing his third. 
Zerglings also being peeled up. The one, he does have a little bit of a race against that Evolution Chamber. I think plus two Carapace, yeah, about halfway finish. And he doesn't have any armor upgrades running for himself. I haven't seen a second Engineering Bay. Okay, he does have that second Engineering Bay running now. However, he isn't tacking on level three weapons behind this. A plague on those Science Vessels. So things actually stabilizing a bit after all of that economic fray on Striker's part. Striker needs to resaturate, get those gas reestablished. The threat still remains of a trans... Like, uh, yeah, Striker holding enough resources to transition into Ultralisk here. Striker actually faltering a bit in his macro. Those Science Vessels have been plagued and are somewhat exposed. Whip actually way up in supply. If he can just establish some more Science Vessels, continually uh, drop those Irradiates, he's put, on, put himself in a position to remain in this match, looking for another drop up right in corner. There's still a handful of Lurkers here, but might be able to catch another grouping of drones. A Creep Colony being dropped, it's threatening there and the natural expansion as that Nidus Canal coming online. So looking maybe to be where Striker's not. Now engaging Dark Swarm, however. There, there's Adrenal upgrades with those Zerglings. So crushing those Marine forces. And it looks like even, honestly, with this, yeah, amount of Marines should be able to... Well, maybe not. A few Marines able to survive with what's left. But that should be a cleanup operation and not able to press at that natural, I believe. So one Swarm, yeah, a single Swarm and those Zerglings should be able to clear things out. Whip now grabbing that third, might even want to grab a fourth here. Yeah, he's already planning down a fourth, realizing it's potentially going to be a longer game. And this is where he just needs to get balls of Marines, Marine balls, out on front to go ahead and contain Striker. Make sure he can't peel out anywhere. A little bit of an empty plague right there. Striker having some trouble transitioning and nice land on the Defile. like the Spore Colonies out in front as well to try to mitigate the ability to just go in and plop down Irradiates. A couple Ultralis taking the field. That's going to be trouble for Whip. Does he have the Irradiates to deal with it? And can he jog all the way back to the main? It looks like he's going to engage wholesale. A nice Dark Swarm drop. Plus three weapons is not there yet. And that's plus four Carapace. The Ultra is going to hold short and allow those that plague to kind of chew through that medic energy. The Marines trying to exit to the north. The Ultralis now in flight. The Zerglings engaging, pinning them against that Ultralis ball. Finally an Irradiate drop, but that's going to be it. And now Whip in big trouble. Has lost all, well, what degree of map control he had. And Striker can go ahead and run around, create some chaos on the map. A single Dark Swarm here at the at the Mineral only could be absolutely decimating for him. Especially if Ultralisks are grouped up with it. Some Medic Marines trying to make their way up or right. Looks like they are going to be able to catch a drone, maybe deny that natural expansion. Some drones going to pull off from there. There are Zerglings here to charge down. Another Medic Marine Firebat Ball grouping. Are we going to see... A transition to some vultures or mech or anything like that. Looks like the main, by the way, mined out. So whip down to two bases. He's just doing a pretty good job macroing here. You can see most of these barracks are glowing. But he needs to keep that science vessel count high. And right now, those earlier... Oh! Those earlier plague science vessels getting obliterated by a single mutalist. That mutalist has four kills and every single one of them was a science vessel. Loses its life but dies a hero. The ultralisks right there gonna get quickly obliterated by what's left is plus three weapons there yet no not yet and i'm still waiting for that plus two armor to finish i'm wondering if it got canceled somewhere behind here it just feels like it's coming online very very slowly i wonder if it got canceled and restarted for some reason so the science vessel count somewhat low striker starting to peel out and create some chaos whip looking for a counter attack at the three o'clock location has no medics to support this but there's two something colonies and a third one's shortly going to come online ultralist and some zerglings flanking so easily able to clean that up some battle cruisers actually able to take the map to force out some gas from striker in the form of scourge rather than anything else and that also might help keep those ultralists and keep the zergling count a little bit lower six o'clock base being grabbed from whip so he does have some economy to work with has a 30 supply lead at the moment the carapace upgrades are continuing to grow streaming out some marines he really does need to threaten striker someplace some hydralists rejoining the fray and that, plus some Scourge that I didn't even see on the map, able to take out yet another Science Vessel. The Ultra's driving right into this Medic Marine pile. Level 3 Weapons is there now. And it looks like maybe that was what happened. There was a cancel level 2 armor to get level 3 weapons on and prioritize that, which I think was a wise decision on Whip's part. Actually, full, fully ultra, uh, upgraded Ultralisks here shortly outside of the Carapace upgrade. The Scourge able to land a single shot in the background. Whip now pressing towards that natural expansion. Looks like there's some Scourge are hovering there over the third... Recognizing it there, a swarm being dropped to uh, yeah, allow those lurkers to peel forward. This is what Whip needs to continue to do. Whip's actually out macroing 
striker right here at double the supply and doing precisely what he needs to do is yeah threaten every threaten everywhere and keep striker back so that somehow that battle cruiser able to do incredible amounts of damage at the three o'clock big plagues though over that medic marine army and striker's been sitting on a, a lot of gas a lot of army i'm kind of wondering where that is translated into it just feels like not a lot of ultralisks for what it's worth Hydra is pressing in. It looks like he's going to be able to clear out that battle cruiser finally, but not before medic marines are resurfacing and looking to threaten and push through to Filer and two Hydralisks. Going to try to stem this out, and Whip is turning this right around. The drone's going to get peeled. That doesn't protect the hatchery, so going to be able to wipe about 3 o'clock. The upper left-hand corner was initially being built, but that's being canceled from Striker. So now, some of that gas being chewed into... Science missiles, however, getting picked off in the upper right. That's a lot of gas still to work with for Striker. I don't... Is this depleted? Yeah. So he's got three fresh gas and a depleted gas to work with. Another dropship making its way across. One dropship not making it. The second dropship is going to be able to make it into the main. Barely, though. Only unloads two medics. That is unfortunate. And now Ultralisks and Zerglings able to engage at the 6 o'clock. And I think that might have been the first and actually a critical mistake from Whip is honestly, I don't feel like he needed to drop there at the six if he had dropped the upper right hand, or sorry, drop to the main or the natural expansion. I feel like if he had dropped to the upper right hand corner, might have gotten more mileage out of what was there, but continuing to push in with the medic marines he's got, lost the space to the six o'clock location, needs to get that remining for himself. The filer is getting caught. Front field striker falling apart a little bit here as far as his troop group grouping and whip once again engaging, trying to get that Nidus canal down. The Nidus is down and is now threatening the natural expansion. Has another medic marine ball that it can redraw to the upper right. Whip peeling Striker apart for large portions of this match. I thought Striker was in an advantageous position, but Whip making it happen. Distance mining here at the six o'clock location needs to redrop that command center. Redropping irradiates everywhere. Has medic marines pushing up to potentially threaten. Finally, some ultralist spawning, but not before the natural expansion was wiped out. And that's gonna cut into the Vesping gas. So Striker down effectively to two gas, mining the upper right. And that is currently under threat. There's two lurkers, sorry, one lurker left, a handful of Zerglings, no Nidus to provide any support. So Whip going to be able to march in, and these level two armor is there. And I believe there's like, yeah, no spine upgrades on that lurker, so they're not going to be very effective against this medic marine force. So Striker going to lose what gas left he had. So Striker looking for a counterattack here at the six o'clock. Looks like the Ultras are going to be able to get there, but... I don't know that he has on the ground enough resources left to deal with what Whip is dishing out. A Defiler moving up. He can go ahead and, cu and cast a Swarm that will protect the drones momentarily. That's not going to stop the Sunken Colony from getting ripped apart. Follow-up Marines able to engage the Ultralist at the 6 o'clock to keep that base up and running. Striker grabbing a Desperation base upper left. Upper right, there's a Plague dropped, but that's not going to help the drones out, nor is it going to keep that hatchery from falling. Zerglings and Ultralisks making their way upper right. Striker is limping on resources now. He's going to have to rely on what's on the bank, what's in his bank momentarily. The Benek Marine's still there. Man, do they have stories. What have they seen? Ultralisks able to clean up what's left, but not before the damage has been done. Striker needs to... Uh, he's got a thousand minerals in the bank. A lot of that needs to go into drone reproduction and hatch reproduction. And a mass amount of radiate catching... A lot. Well, as he got more radiates, catching some very valuable units. Uses one science vessel in the sphere of it, but more marines making the upper left. I think Whip has done it. A single ultra is going to try to limp into the six o'clock without any support. Does have that level five carapace, but there's enough marines and everything else to clear that out. Two lurkers are going to hold the line in the upper left, but Striker's still going to GG, realizing that yeah, he had too few resources to replenish everything, and Whip in the meantime still had production going on to that six o'clock base so whip coming back from behind able to close the gap and take a game from striker well played hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening